On a snap-on scan tool, when recording data, you can also use what we call PID triggers. I like to think of those as a babysitter for your road test. You can take a road test, set a maximum and a minimum value on any of the data PIDs, and it'll automatically save for you. Well, another thing that you can do, not just using maximum and minimum on a PID, you could use a switch to use that sort of a master save button. So let's walk through how we would do that on the Solus Plus. All right, so in this example, we're going to use the engine. Let's say we were taking a road test trying to find some failed engine data uh, for a drivability problem. So I can go into engine, I'll go into data. In this case, this vehicle only has one data list. Uh, it could be multiple lists depending on the vehicle. And what we could do is if we knew what we were looking for, if we knew, say, maybe an oxygen sensor was having a problem, throttle position sensor, we could set our maximum and minimums on those data PIDs, drive the car, and when it goes out of spec, It'll, it'll save. In this case, I just want to use a switch inside the car because maybe I don't know what data is going to go out and if I just have the car all of a sudden drive and hiccup, then I can just press that switch and it'll act like a master save button for the file. So in this case, I know if I turn on the cruise control switch, that should work. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit, try and find that cruise control switch. There we go, cruise control main. So we'll highlight the PID we want to use. We'll go up top here, it looks like a squiggly line with a line above it and a line below it. That's my PID trigger. We're going to click set trigger. Now we're going to set the maximum. This is an on off, so it's simply an either or. So on is my max, hit continue. Off is my minimum, hit continue again. Now we see we have two gray lines. Now all I have to do is go back up to that squiggly line, hit arm triggers and you'll see they now turn pink and I have a blue flag. That means that PID is being watched for a maximum and minimum value. I'm gonna go over and hit that cruise control switch and we should see it change. There we go. So there we heard it change, we heard a beep and then we see now the flag is red so that means it has triggered and it's gone by. We also see there's a red line there where that PID triggered, also records a few more frames and saves it. But we can see the red line where it triggered we can see the green line on all the other PIDs to see what those PIDs were doing at that time. So if I'm driving down the road, all of a sudden the car hiccups, bucks, whatever, I simply hit the cruise control switch, which is on the steering wheel, very easy. And then uh, I can just see where that's saved and I can look at all the data at that time because it records all the data and see what was going on. So that's kind of an easy way to have like a master save button when you're recording data on a road test.